Hey there. Today we're going to do a review of the Psycho Sticks. There are actually two of them right here. I have the, uh, the smaller single and then the larger one, which is the Cannonball. Uh, I first found out about the Psycho Stick from uh, Bront Trim, or uh, Brent Kim, as some of you know. He uh, came back from his trip to Monterey, and he brought one with him. And uh, he took a pic I think he took a picture of it, and he said, uh, Game Changer. And Brent is... Uh, Brent's a little negative about some things, so when he's positive about things, and when he said this is a game changer, I decided to listen to him because, you know, Brent's pretty into the whole mobility scene. Uh, so, the Psycho Stick is sold out of Monterey, California, by uh, a gentleman named Cyrus and his wife Erin. Uh, hence, Psycho, get it? Cyrus Co. I thought it was just like crazy because it hurts, kind of like my girlfriend Crystal did. And, uh, yeah, I guess it's not. But uh, anyway, this is the first one that I bought, and then uh, Aaron was kind of sending me another one so I could uh, basically compare the two of them. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it from the site, and I'm also going to uh, post a link for where you can purchase one. So the Psycho Stick is a massage tool uniquely designed to relieve muscular discomfort, increase circulation, aid in mobility, and speed the recovery of connective tissues, muscles, and myofascial tissue. Okay, so basically the way that I use the Psycho Stick is uh, probably two to three times a week. Uh, it takes me about four minutes on each leg. I basically use it on my legs. I mean, you could use it on your extensors. Uh, if you had a uh, mobility friend, you could uh, use them in your triceps as well. Basically, you, use it, you could use it anywhere. On myself, I really like using it on my legs, and that's why I do it two to three times a week. So I spend about two minutes uh, on my quads, uh, another minute on my hamstrings, and then a minute on my calves. Uh, Brendan has a little bit of a demo uh, from when we were in Nationals where he used it on AC. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot going on with that video. So basically, you know, I just start off real slow, and then I just try to break up any tightness that I can find. Sometimes it's really tight, sometimes it's not. But anyway, I spent about at least a minute uh, this part of my quad, a minute here, and then my hamstrings, middle of my calf. Uh, really makes a big difference, uh, definitely with the external rotation in the bottom of the squat. That's where I noticed it the most. And it relieves most of my, uh, along with other mobility tools, uh, I have very little knee pain and, you know, my bottom position in the squat feels good. So, uh, the reason that I would suggest buying this one for bigger guys is just because you have a bigger, uh, it's a little, you can get some more pressure with this one. I mean, you can get good pressure with this, but I think for bigger individuals, I would definitely suggest getting the Cannonball. Uh, no matter what, I would suggest both of them uh, for, I mean, whichever one you want, but I would suggest... Uh, you purchase the Psycho Stick if you like mobility tools. I'm going to make a video sometime about uh, the m essential mobility tools, something like that, like bands, lacrosse balls. Uh, but this is definitely going to be included in the list. I will post a link where you can purchase this, either of them. They also have some, uh, I haven't messed around with them a lot, but where there's, there's, two, uh, there's actually two balls uh, rotating on this stick, but I haven't messed around with that one a lot. But. These two definitely awesome. If you're bigger, get this one. If you're smaller, get this one. Okay, see ya.